technician over at House Paul's Mobile Veterinary Service, and I'm about to show you how to use your in-home glucose monitoring kit from Alphatrack. It's important to use a kit that's specific towards animals, not humans. Their values are a little bit different, and it can cause some serious problems. Inside your Alphatrack, you're going to see there are a guide, which is recommended to read. There's also a video for those people who don't like to read to watch. It shows you exactly what you're going to do. You also have sterile lancets. This is what we're going to use to actually slightly poke our baby at home to get our sample. Inside your kit, there are strips that we use to test. There are maybe about 50 inside each container. Each container is very different. There are numbers on here, as you'll see, specific towards dog or cat. You have a monitor that you'll turn on and at that point you'll adjust it accordingly to your strip. The machines don't turn on until you insert your strip. I like to think butterflies fly upwards so that's the way you're going to insert it into your monitor. As soon as you push it in all the way the monitor will turn on and you'll make sure the code is exactly specific to the code on your box. Next thing to do is grab a patient and see how they tolerate it. <laughs> we have Rocky here we're going to try to get our sample from. So with cats, it's a little bit easier, I find, to try to get the sample from their ear. You can see their ear veins a lot easier this way. I'll take the balls and put it right behind the ear. And what I'm going to do is slowly apply a little pressure upwards, allowing this vessel to fill with blood. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing. I'm going to, as I poke in, I'm going to twist on the way up. That's going to allow the blood to fill to the surface. You can even apply some Vaseline to the ear, which will get rid of some of that hair that's going to take your sample away. Then I'm going to insert my strip. And as it turns on, I'm going to make sure the numbers are specific towards my cat or dog. Cats are 38 on this one, so I'm going to adjust it to 38. But now it's asking me for my sample. What I'm going to do is I'm going to poke inward, twist up a little on the way out. The Vaseline's going to let the blood sit on the very top of the ear, and I'm able to apply and get my sample. I'm going to apply it. I'm just taking a reading now. 95. 